All right, let's make a new pathway right through. Come on, baby, take down that tree or hump the tree. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it definitely wasn't this. Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and a warm welcome back to Mud Runner. And I got a smile on my face right now. I actively say this is one of my most favorite games ever, and I don't know why I've never checked out the modding community in this game. And I gotta say, it's flourishing, man. So it's probably been two years since we last played Mud Runner. If you don't know what this game is, it's all about the mud physics. It's one of the best physics-based games I've ever played. Uh, I, I would say BeamNG is a little bit better than this one, especially in terms of crashes. But the terrain physics in this beat BeamNG by far. So we're going to be getting into the mud today with a bunch of weird vehicles. I spawned in a few here, as you can see. Some of these, these, these are the basic ones, by the way. These, these are, these are as, as tame as I could get them. So yeah, we're only going to go crazier from here. But I thought we'd try a GTR first because um, this game really isn't designed for speed. I, I, from what I found, whenever you try and go fast in this game, weird things happen. And I, it's probably going to happen with this thing. But the fact that we're playing Mud Runner and we're in, a, we're in a GTR is absolutely fantastic. So let's take this thing to the streets. And yeah, as you can see, it's already acting a little bit weird. Oh, man. Okay, already spinning out. Uh, just because the, the engine of this game was designed for slow crawling around muddy maps. But I thought it'd be fun to start with this and see how far we can get. <laughs> I'm getting damaged just going down the street. Uh, but yes, this is where this game's going to truly shine in the dirt. Now, just for fun, let's see if we can actually last a little while in the old GTR here. I don't think we're going to pass the river. <laughs> then again! All right, we, did, we didn't even uh, waterlog the engine there. That's actually amazing. So yeah, this is a fully modded map, by the way, as well. The community in this game is pretty damn crazy, uh, which is exciting to see, because I honestly didn't know that. Look at all the mud on this GTR. This is the first time a GTR has probably been off-roading, and I gotta say, it's doing a hell of a lot better than expected. Diff lock always on, all wheels not applicable, so this is all we can do with this thing. It's not stuck, like it's still moving. Can I winch with this? Just out of curiosity, no. Oh, actually, would you look at that? Um, I have no attached sources, so it, I think it's because I don't have a winch. I can't actually attach anything. All right, we're gonna continue to go, just because I want to see how muddy this thing will get. I gotta be honest, you're probably not too amused by this. Let's um maybe move on to the next vehicle. I just want to see, okay, there is some water over here. Oh, there we go. Yes, get, get, get to the hard ground. Nice. Okay, so let's pull this one to the side and let's check out some more. We have a lot to check out today, but I gotta say the GTR surprisingly effective at off-roading. All right, we got a UTV on steroids. My God, I thought this thing would be little. I mean, it is little in the grand scheme of things, but uh, oh, listen to that engine too. This thing is just crazy tall. Look, look, look at my guy too. I don't remember them having uh, drivers in this game, so. That must be new. So yeah, we're on a modded map right now. It's kind of like a fun zone. I want to go and see what we can find, and I think this thing should be able to do... Look at my guy trying to hold this thing straight down the freaking road. God damn it. Oh, there we go. A little bit of damage to that wheel, but that's totally fine. Man, even after three years... I, I think this came out in 2017 at least. This game is freaking beautiful, and if, if you're a fan of just vehicle-based fi physics games... You're not going to get much better than this. Also, I just want to see. <laughs> like, we're not even touching the bottom of the frame here with how high we're up with just this little guy. And they're only going to get bigger from here. So, yeah, these are a little bit over the top. But that's kind of the vehicles that I like to play in a game like this. Okay, so what do we got here? I want, like, jumps. Can we do jumps? Okay, that's just an, an advertisement. Rock Runner Gaming. Subscribe to them on YouTube, guys. Uh, there is jumps, as you can see. I wonder how we get down there. Oh, man, if we could jump a vehicle, that would be so cool. All right, full throttle. Again, speed is not key in this game, but some of these vehicles do go decent fast, and that was a lot deeper <laughs> than expected. Okay, I guess we're done with the UTV then. All right, so now we got an LJ, and this one we can actually uh, equip with stuff, and a lot of vehicles in this game, you can actually do that. Repair? Um, sure. I guess I accidentally opened a repair thing. All right, we also have a high lift jack. May as well throw that on the front. Yeah, right, right, right on the hood there. And I think we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, so 
Should probably turn off the parking brake. Hopefully this one's a little bit faster. Oh my god, look at the tires on this thing. This should not get stuck. All right, let's throw the diff lock on, all wheel on. We're just gonna full throttle through this. No problem at all. <laughs> this is a beast. And I have missed this game so much. There's something about the mud physics that make this game freaking perfect. Okay, I don't think we went this way, so let's go over here. Actually, I'm pretty sure this is where the jump goes, so we're gonna turn diff lock all wheel off so we get a little bit more speed. And let's see. All right, first of all, get this thing all sorted. We might need to have all wheel on, depending on how muddy this is. I am spinning my wheels a little bit, as you can see. Come on, man. Really? All right. Did Diff lock on, all wheel on. Let's try and get some speed here. Oh, I don't know how fast we're gonna be able to go, but there we go. Oh man, if we can jump that road, there's gotta be something that should be able to jump that road. All right, maybe there's a smaller jump though that we can actually do. Another jump, but yeah, we're not even getting close. Look at my guy, though, <laughs> he's banging his head around in there. Uh, like, e even the human physics of this game are so good, because when, when we bang around, so does he. Ah, the old mud pit, you know what? Let's give her a test here, see if we can maybe get across this mud lake, basically. Should we try the easier ground first, which is across that way? No, you know what, screw it. We're just gonna go right in here. Diff lock on, all wheels on. Don't know if it's gonna be able to do this. It's hard to tell how deep this is gonna be. So far, so good. And we are definitely gonna go up here, obviously. So as long as we keep spinning and don't get too stuck, we should be okay. Okay, turn those wheels, get onto the high ground. There we go, and look at those mud physics, moving the mud around, fantastic. So far, so good. As long as that hood doesn't go underwater, I think we should be okay with this beast. I love this view as well. It feels like I actually have a head. Like I, I angle myself. I actually like look out and everything. God, I, 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 I need to play more of this game because it is just still so freaking good. Well, I can't tell, are we stuck? No, we are still moving. This guy's jamming the freaking throttle. Did you see that? He's trying to give it all she can, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to be patient here, as you can see. It's definitely gonna get more shallow, so it's safe to say we have made it out of the mud pit. Well, not yet, but we definitely will. And we are officially out. Now, I wanna get this thing a little bit dirty. I mean, it is a Jeep, after all. It should be dirty. And, I mean, I have no idea where I'm going, but let's go over here, I guess. This thing, I'm, I can't seem to be able to kill this one, so it looks like we just have a fuel station and... A campground? The hell? Oh, that might be deeper than I thought. Yep, that hurt a little bit, but we're still good. All wheel on. Jeez, that was a drop off, man. I wonder if I could be, I, I, I'd be able to climb that. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's going over the hood, guys. Oh, this is bad. I am going under. Under. We have a dangerous water level. Look at my guy's head. He's like, oh shit. What is he doing? Why is he looking down? Okay, we're still good. A little wet, as you can see, but we made it out. I wonder how deep this thing can go. Still did not bog down the engine. Amazing. Oh my God, this this would be an amazing game in VR. Now, now that I think about it, this needs to be in VR because <laughs> imagine this right now, feeling like you're gonna suffocate sooner or later. Now I wanted to see if we could actually get, get over these logs. So let's see if we can. Why not blogging down the engine? I don't know if the engines work with the modded vehicles or not. That being said, I haven't let off the gas, so that might be why. And oh my god, this thing is just too good. That is like no problem at all. Back into the pit. Made it through a whole freaking lake here. I still don't know why this guy's looking down. He's like, who the hell is controlling me right now? Oh, come on. We can make it out of here. Get those wheels some grip. It is really deep mud here, as you can see. Like, those are... Those gotta be four foot tall wheels at least. And it's all the way into the mud, man. Come on, we can get it. Hard ground up ahead. And what is this? Oh yes, I, I must try. This is the watering hole. All right, this one's gotta be real deep. So I think this is where we can kill it. Oh yeah, there, you can actually see my other vehicle right there. Oh, I just want it to go over my head to experience it. I don't know if these are gonna be deep enough. Oh, it's gonna do the steering wheel, I think. Yep, okay. Come on, I just I just want to see the fish. There we go, I can see it. Cockpit camera not available. We're so deep, the cockpit's not available and I am taking damage now. Uh, that's obviously water damage. So 
Safe to say, we finally killed this one. We probably would be able to get out if we keep going. I mean, I, I, I want to try the other vehicle, though. I have to try this other one. So, yeah, let's stop that one. And this is the one I'm truly interested in. We're going to change over to that. Look at this. This is like straight out of Mad Max. I have no idea if this thing's going to be good or bad. I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to be really good, at least getting through the dirt, though. This is the coolest looking vehicle ever. It used to obviously be some sort of weapon because it looks like there was a top turret on it and it's been repurposed to this. Okay, so cockpit camera is more like a front facing camera. Um, yeah, let's see if this thing can get through some mud. All right, I'm not even gonna turn on all wheels. Look at this, this thing, it's like a caterpillar, man. Oh my God, I don't even have all wheels on right now. It is so much faster than, than, than the rest of them. All right, let's see if this crappy suspension can handle a little bit of a jump. There we go. Oh, we almost made it. I think we might be able to make it with this one. Jesus, this thing can take some serious damage, that's for sure. Oh, I'm actually almost dead already. That didn't take me long. That's actually impressive. All right, so we probably have enough HP for one more jump. Let's give it a shot here. Oh, that looks like a fun trail too. There, there's obviously a lot of trails we're going to miss today. Oh yeah, we are smoking. That's that that I think that's oil burning. So yeah, I am totally destroying this vehicle. I just want to see. I don't think it's fast enough now. It's too damaged. I just want to make this jump one time. It's so close. Yeah, this thing's... <laughs> Let's just break it for the fun of it at, at this point. So I have 64,000 HP. I thought I had 2,000 HP left. But no, I just... Let's just take down a tree. 533 damage. Yeah, okay. I don't think we're going to be able to break this one. It's literally built like a tank. All right, let's make a new pathway right through. Come on, baby, take down that tree or hump the tree. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what I expected, but it definitely wasn't this. Okay, pull off. Come on. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? What is going on? Oh, my God. That was great. All right, let's try one of these side trails. I think if anything's going to do a good job with these things, it's this. Oh my god, it's it's got like no suspension, so I actually have to stay in the groove here. That's the one downside, but it is not gonna get stuck. No problem at all, it's just got too many wheels. Look, there's the GTR. I made it that far, my god. Okay, whoa, easy now, Tiger. Oh, Jesus Christ, oh god, oh god, I can't stop. Okay, <sighs> Jesus. All right, looks like we pretty much made it out. You know what, I'm gonna go down the, the river, that sounds fun. <laughs> Just destroying everything. <laughs> this is the greatest vehicle ever. You can't screw up with it. Even if you even if you get stuck, you don't. Okay, so that was the first four. Let's go on to a different map and check out some more weird vehicles because it's turning nighttime now and I think it's time to move on. Clearly this thing is freaking amazing. Okay, here we are on another map with, well, actually only two crazy vehicles. We can only spawn in two at this one now. I'm thinking I want to carry this other vehicle because this other one is actually a boat. Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a boat truck, so technically we could use that, but also I want to see if we can actually use this thing too. So how the hell does this work? All right, boat truck. Hopefully we have what you need here. Okay, um... Park brake should probably be off. Now, I don't even know if this can fit on here. Dude, how am I supposed to get it? I'm clearly not using this right, right? It should be flat on the ground, I'm thinking. But, hey, we're just gonna try it here and see what happens. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, it's working. Okay, Um, will the park brake work? Okay, park brake, it's actually freaking working. Oh my God, these vehicles are amazing. Okay, uh, change truck back to this one. I can't even see now. Advanced. No, I don't want. Okay, chain, chain chain wheels are fine. I actually accidentally put on chain wheels. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> oh god, it's going too far forward. I don't know why it's still going up. Okay, and there we go. Bring the platform down. <laughs> now all we gotta do is get all the way to the water without this thing falling off. I can't believe that actually worked though. Okay, um, let's try this again maybe. I just want to make sure this thing's kind of flat. You know what? I don't know what the hell I'm doing anymore. So let, let's, let's just keep it like it is. Okay. Now slow and steady wins the race. We have to take the boat to the water. By the way, I have no idea if there's even water on this map. Let's open up the map. Oh, God. I have to actually find the points. I see water, though. Okay. So we just got to turn all the way around. No big deal. I, I shall drop you off, boat. 
So if you're new to Mudrunner, by the way, you don't really know how this game works. It's all about hauling logs. So, um, yeah, these mods are obviously totally different from that. But uh, I wanted to show you guys a bunch of weird vehicles today. But if you do want to check out... Can I break this? Yes, I can. Oh, my God. The physics are so good! But, yeah, if you do want to check out the actual gameplay, I've done so many episodes of this game over the years. The original one and this one. I highly recommend you go check this game out if you've never seen it. It is a fantastic experience and, uh, yeah, just such an amazing game. Okay, so somewhere over here, there should be water. I'm amazed this thing's still on there. I feel like I'm going to lose it at any second you can see. <laughs> it's not attached to it. It's bouncing around. Thankfully, it seems to be quite heavy. Oh, God! Jesus Christ! Okay, I am really heavy to the right side now. It, 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 it is your time, little truck. Oh, please don't get electrocuted. That would be amazing if it did. But it's your time to shine, baby. Please tell me you actually work as a boat. If you, are, if you don't, I spent a long time bringing you here, only for you to not be a boat at all. Okay, so I guess we'll just drop this thing down here and let it back in. Oh my god, look at the little... Like, this isn't even a river, it's just like an overflow, and it's actually going into the water. Like, small things like that. Absolutely amazing, man. Okay, so how the hell do I do this again? Here we go, buddy. Start that engine up. Yeah. And... Park brake off. Dude, that went way too well. Why is everything going so well for me? I mean, I, I just took a bit of damage, but who the hell cares? Alright, I guess we'll just back it in. I mean, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. All right, I have no... Do, do I have to, like, engage boat drive or something like that? No. All right, well, it should on paper work. Oh, no. I just realized that's not supposed to be like that. You can see my propeller. It is actually broken. I broke my propeller somehow. What the hell? Well, let's see if we get any sort of power at all. Hey! I'm pretty sure... Is it... It's hard to tell if it's floating or if I'm just on ground. It... I think it's floating, though. I think it's actually working. This is amazing. All right, well, I gotta say it's a job well done today. We uh, played with a bunch of really big trucks and uh, it actually went extremely well. We didn't break anything too badly, which is rare for me. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode of Mud Runner here, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this because like I said, this is easily one of my favorite games ever. I would love to do some more of these videos for you guys if you guys are enjoying them. We have three years of modded stuff to play with. And there's actually a bunch of DLC I haven't checked out either. So if you want to see the actual gameplay, let me know in the comments below. And if you didn't check out the old playlist of me playing this game, uh, feel free to do so. I'll have a link in the description of all my playlists for the original Spin Tires, uh, Spin Tires Mud Runner, and all the other DLCs I've checked out so far. But yeah, we're going to wrap up this one here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.